Hi Atticus, it's Katrina, your tutor mate reading tutor. I hope you're having a great day and a great week, and I look forward to reading another story to you today. Of course, I would rather read it with you uh, like, like we've done before, but for now, I hope that you're enjoying the stories that I've been reading to you and hope you're able to get some reading time in and read out loud or even read to yourself. I'm sure you're getting excited that the school year is almost over. It's already the end of May and I'm, I believe your school ends sometime in June, so a few more weeks. Um, so keep doing a great job and keep reading as much as you can. I know that you're doing just as good as you were before. So today's story is called Just a Girl, and it is by Anne Harth. I'll go ahead and read through the pages, and like I've done before, if you can read out loud with me, that would be great. But if not, just following along as I read through each page, and then we'll answer some questions at the end. All right, here we go, Atticus. Just a Girl by Anne Harth. I wonder who will move into Jason's house. Thomas threw his baseball. Thwack! Liam caught it in his mitt. My mom said it's a kid our age. His name is Sam. He threw it back. Thwack! Thomas caught it. Good. Maybe he can play baseball. That would make nine on the team. The big game is only a week away. He threw the ball. Thwack. Liam caught the ball. A small truck rumbled down the street. It stopped in front of Jason's old house. There was a park across the street. Liam and Thomas sat on the soft grass. Maybe it's the new kid, Liam said. So Atticus, let's just review. It sounds like, well, the boys in the picture are Liam and Thomas, and they're throwing a baseball to each other, which is what's making that thwacking sound. And it sounds like they used to have a friend named Jason who lived in a house by them. And that person and his family must have moved away. So now they're trying to find out who's moving in. So let's find out. A man got out of the car. A little boy did too. They walked onto Jason's front porch. He's not our age. Thomas took off his glove. He looks about three. Someone else jumped out of the back seat. She had long brown braids. She was wearing a baseball cap. Sam, the man called from the porch. Grab that yellow box. Thomas and Liam looked at each other. Sam, Thomas said. Liam shook his head. She's just a girl. She won't want to play baseball. Thomas shook his head. Come on, we have to practice. The boys practiced batting and throwing all afternoon. Across the street, the new family moved in. So Atticus, obviously they expected Sam to be a boy, but it turns out that the new person moving in that's their age is named Sam, but it's a girl. Probably, I mean, it could be short for Samantha, So, but she, maybe she goes by Sam. Do you think we're ready? Liam said. Thomas shrugged. I guess so. We still need a full team though. He picked up his bat. Thomas and Liam walked toward home. Hey, 
a voice called behind them. They both turned around. The new kid, Sam, stood in the park. She had a glove and a ball. A bat lay at her feet. Catch this, she said. She hurled a baseball at them. So what do you think, Atticus, before we start reading further, do you think Sam plays baseball? Yeah, she probably does. Let's find out. Thomas held out his glove. Thwack! He caught the ball. So it sounds like she can throw. Right, Atticus? Hey, that was hard. His hand stung. Catch this. He threw the ball back. It was a little high, but Sam jumped. Thwack! She caught it. Want to play? She said. Thomas and Liam looked at each other. They grinned. Just a girl, Liam said. I think we have our team. Hey, Sam, Thomas called. Can you bat? So what do you think, Atticus? You think that she can bat as well? If I had to guess, I would say yes, because she can throw, she can catch, and I'm sure she can also hit a ball. So let's go over some questions. What is Liam and Thomas's opinion of Sam after they see her get out of the car? So opinion means what did they think of her when they first saw her get out of the car? You have any ideas? So hopefully you said or thought that they just assumed that because she was a girl, she couldn't play baseball or she didn't play baseball. Is the sentence across the street, the new family moved in a fact or an opinion and why? So I'm not sure if you know what fact or opinion means, um, but let's go over it in case you do. And if you don't, it's a good refresh. Or if you do, it's a good refresher. And if you don't, hopefully this will help you learn something new. Um, so if you're looking for a fact, a fact is usually something that's true, true about something. For example, it's a fact that the girl's name is Sam, or it's a fact that the girl was wearing a baseball cap. An opinion is what you think. It may or may not be true, but something you think from something you think or thought from what you saw or what you observed. So, for example, when uh, Liam and Thomas saw the girl come out of the car, their opinion or their thought was that she might not play baseball, but they ended up being wrong and it could be wrong or right. Your opinion could be wrong or right. Um, so their opinion ended up being wrong and they found out, oh, she does play baseball and she can be part of our team. So the question is the part of the, of the story that said across the street, the new family moved in, is that a fact or an opinion? So Atticus, hopefully you said a fact because it was true that a new family was moving in across the street where their friend Jason used to live. Why do the boys think Sam won't want to play baseball? Would you know why they might have thought she wouldn't play baseball? Probably because she was a girl because their team, it sounds like their team is made up of all boys. So they probably thought, oh, she doesn't play baseball. But then they found out she does and that she's really good. And now it sounds like they're looking to invite her to join their team so they can have a full team for their game coming up. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story, Atticus. I did. Um, these stories are, are always interesting and we learn something new. And hopefully you learn something new today, such as a fact versus an opinion. And I look forward to reading another story to you next week. I hope you have a great day, great week, great weekend, and enjoy time with your family or friends or pets or whomever you spend time with. All right? And make sure to keep reading. I know you're doing a, an amazing job. Have a great day, Atticus. Talk to you later. Bye.